Hey. Yeah, hey. Hi. Hey, hey, how you doing? Hey. This is your Duchess, yeah. Mm, he's so oh, cute. She's so cute, right? Mm. Yeah. Oh, hey. good girl. Hey, how are you doing? Good, good. Sorry, I'm trying to figure that Get some good audio in case you had any questions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, good girl. Good, good. You don't want to get down? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh cool. It's cold outside. <laughs> we'll go at her inside if she wants to take okay. off her jacket. Yeah, yeah, we'll go inside. <laughs> Good girl. Well done. Well done. Okay. She's so hyped up now. We're going inside. Okay, okay, we're coming. Hi. No, come here, this way. All right. So I don't know if I can get. No. No? Yeah. It keeps on. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna break Santa Claus over here. Hello. Hello. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Can I help you guys out at all? <laughs> You yep. can ask her to sit. Sit. <laughs> well, let's, let's watch. We gotta watch Duchess, baby. Come on. Sit. Here. Sit. 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 Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's <laughs> seeing stuff. What kind of dog is it? A kava poo. Yeah. Good crowd. Right easy. <laughs> <laughs> I have a husky American Eskimo. Oh, oh really? Cool. So she is only 40 pounds and seven years old. You know all that energy, too. Uh, yeah, and hair. <laughs> uh, you don't have to worry about hair, it looks like. No, Just yeah. Getting her groomed, I guess. Yep, yep, yep. That's right. So <sighs> she's still. She, she is. Just came right up to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah she is. Super friendly. Yeah. Gotcha. Come. Sit. Thank you. Good girl. All right. Good job. Thank you guys. Yeah. Is there anything Thank else you. you guys? You just come around and get some training in? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Okay. That's exactly it. Walking yeah. around. <laughs> Thanks for your service. Sir. Thank you. You too. Okay, so, let's walk. There is going to be uh, the first point to touch across, right? Okay. It's just the fact that she gets so excited and she's so friendly. Yeah. We're trying to find a good way to correct her behavior without stifling it. Well, yes. Okay. Right? Yep. Because mm -hmm. we need to, we need her to be able to control herself, but we don't want to overcorrect that she, you know, changes her personality. Right. right? Yes. Um, yeah. And yeah. The second part about that factor is just the fact that I don't know how. Um, she's going to probably need to respond to you guys, right? Okay. Like that um, that over-excitedness and that willingness to kind of jump up and engage most of the time is really good. Right, right. right. For, for handlers, especially in service situations, 
Um, whereas sometimes we'll have, you know, pups that kind of want to jump up or paw at people. Yeah. Most of the time, if it's okay to completely discourage that behavior. Okay. Yep. Because some handlers won't need it. But like, uh, for example, with the other client, and that's how their dog signals to them when their blood sugar is low. They'll jump up and they'll start pawing at them. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. So that's, it, it's what makes it a little bit complicated. Sure. Right? Because we need her to learn to control herself without overcorrecting the behavior itself. Right. Because right? okay. we might actually need that behavior. Go on, Daddy. Right. Right. Yes, understand. Understand. Um, Go ahead, VJ. So hopefully we'll get another uh, opportunity. <laughs> usually, usually we get plenty with, with her being out and about. Yeah, yeah. Um, and if we want to try to make that the distinction of her being able to kind of jump up good, and, good. and engage with us. Thank you, sir. Right? As opposed to just jump up and engage with anybody. Yeah, okay, right? okay. Um, so what trying to do is find a way to kind of disrupt the behavior unless it's asked for. Um, a good example mm -hmm. of this that I teach sometimes with some pups and some families is uh, like my own dog, for example. Uh, Fiona is a, a great Dane Mastiff mix, mm. right? So nine times out of 10, you don't want her jumping on anybody. Anybody, right? right? <laughs> you know, it could be very painful. She's a horse. Even <laughs> if she has the best of intentions. Yes, right? absolutely. So what we did was he only gets to do it on an up command. Ah, yeah. Right? And so what I was thinking is we can tie that up command with you guys and either um, what a lot of people do, and this is just, you know, you're going to have to discuss this between you and your wife, of course, what you guys naturally do, and sometimes it just helps recording situations in one another and just playing it back and looking at yourselves, um, is figure out what you naturally do start to do when something distressing happens. Most of the time for a lot of people, it's uh, hands up to the face, right? Or, mm. or they duck down, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? Um, it just depends on the person, but most of the time that's that's what we see a lot of. Yeah. Um, BJ. She's a very independent young lady. She is, yeah, yeah. So hey, pretty girl. That, that you guys can, can think about in the sooner Right, the um, the more that we can start implementing it with okay. the training, but for now, at least mm. uh, working on that up is okay when asked. Okay. Right? Okay. Yeah. So that sounds uh, great. Trying to find good ways of correcting her without like basically punishing her or stopping her. Because a lot of times, when you would correct jumping behavior, you, you pull them down or off. Yep. Right. Mm -hmm. But which is good. But what ends up happening is. They feel like if they they do that, that they're going to get stopped anyways, right? Yeah. Uh, physically, right? So what we want to do is instead of like physically stopping her, is giving her a cue when it's not wanted or unacceptable. Sure, uh, sure. So either like a no command or not uh, or a sound or something. Uh, usually, what ends up happening with her is because she's so excited mm -hmm. right cuts through most of those commands yeah so trying to come up with things that um she's not either not used to sound wise that we can kind of start implementing and then when we're out socializing with her putting those to use so that was come vj like, like a negative association without anything um physical or stressful sure <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Big up, huh? Way up. Because that's the second thing. Is with her, it's really easy to physically stop her. From yes. Doing those things. Yes, exactly. But it doesn't. Um, Fiona is very would be very very difficult. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. And I've thought about that quite often. If she was a 75 pound dog, you know. <laughs> right. Sometimes you know, we have to treat them differently because of the way that they're, they're built. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm always 
want to, but you know, that's the reality of it. Right. Especially when it comes to smaller pups like her, and it has to actually be gentler, right? You don't want to run a fur or anything. Right, right. Here would be a good idea. Uh, PJ. Excuse me, we got a Come. Up, got an aisle open. So I'm going to make a little bit of space. Mm -hmm. We're going to try an ultrasound device. I'll use this sometimes to get my pup's attention. Come on, PJ. All right, so she's focused on them. Duchess. Mm. Yes, good girl. Good. Yes, Duchess. Good girl, yes. Good. So what we try to do there, I don't know if you can hear it because it's a very light piece. No. Um, mm. This thing is good because it'll, it'll vibrate when you hit it too, so that way yeah. you know when it hits. Yeah. So it has a very light beat. But what I did there was I called her name. She didn't respond. Right. So it let me know that she was too focused, right? She was too excited. And then I used the device to kind of stop her, right? It, it's a new frequency that she's not used to. Right, so she's unsure of what it is, and it's it's enough to make that impact of like breaking that fixation, sure, or yeah. at least causing a moment of hesitation. And then on the second time of trying to call her, she was, then she was able to respond. Right, she wasn't so focused. Right, right. So that could be right now a really good humane option. Right. Okay. Okay. You can tell it didn't have to like. Pull her away or step on Like something that we would invest into to continue? Or her, her, okay, yeah, absolutely. Okay. She might be completely conditioned by then, but listen. Yeah, okay. She's been doing great, though, for um, her first weekend. Yeah. But a lot of it is just, you know, catching up on, on the basics, right? Right. Kind of laying down that, that foundation. But she's been picking up on everything really well. Good. Yes, good girl. Good, appreciate it. Good. good touches. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you this. That way you have all the treats. You might need to adjust it to yourself a little bit. Okay. BJ, okay. come Can back. Hold those for you. Could you? Could you? Thank you. Hi. So what I found, oh, good girl. <laughs> Very good. Okay. And so what I've been doing is just rewarding her for refocusing on us. Okay. And combining that with the sit stay to help with her maintaining composure because it gives her multiple things to do. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, instead of just like calling her name, giving her a treat, and she goes right back to whatever she was doing. Okay. Okay. So I'll go ahead and give you an opportunity here to call her name and. Hopefully she'll just come to you and sit Duchess. and give her a treat. <laughs> Duchess. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so here, we'll wait until she calms down. We'll see if she should do it on her own, right? Because she should know. Good. Mm -hmm. Come on. She is so cute. Try one more time here. Okay. Duchess. There Good. Go. Good. Good. So how are you doing this? Oh. Oh yeah, she's got the little treats in there, and then yeah. I pick up the, the dog cookies for her too. Good, 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 good. So that's gonna be like the the um, what's the what's the good VJ? Kind of like the, the usual response or the initial response. She hears her name, she comes back, she sits and focuses on you. Okay, okay, great, great. <laughs> Let's walk. <laughs> Shall we do it again? Duchess. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Good. And that's that's pretty normal with with puppies. Okay. It's just, they know the training and they understand it. It's just working through their own energy and excitement is usually like the barrier. Right, right. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Duchess. <laughs> Good. Good.
Good girl. Good, good. Good. Sure. Okay. <laughs> PJ. Oh, we have a couple of body too. So we'll go ahead and see if we can have her get excited seeing that. Okay. And then trying to redirect her again so this is a good practice for you, right? So, yep. Um, the order of operations is to call her name. She doesn't respond. Try the button. Uh -huh. Right? See how she uh, she reacts, and if she's Let's still too focused, we'll we'll move away Let's from whatever is making her too excited. Okay. Okay. Right. We're gonna walk this way, VJ. <laughs> Looks like they're going this way. Yeah. So right. Right. Here. Try to try to interest that a little bit. It's okay. A little bit quieter now than usual. Like during the days yeah. and mornings, some people and roads are really busy. That's okay. Right. We'll have a good opportunity this weekend when it's it's pretty busy out socially to kind of get her some more good practice in. Okay. And trying to build the basics for now so that way, you know, she's it's setting her up for success as opposed to failure. Right. Trying to get her as much practice in as possible. Did you guys get a chance to catch any of the videos yet? Yeah, we have. Yeah, we haven't seen all of them yet. We still have to we go. catch up a little bit. BJ. <laughs> all right, so she's okay. focused on the other pup there, and she's excited. Duchess. Good girl. Oh, good, good, Very good, good, good. Here, here, Duchess. <laughs> good, good. Now we'll go ahead and move away good, before good. she uh, right. again. That's good. So I didn't have to use this at all. It's yep. great. That's, that's the goal. Like, we have yeah. all the training tools to help with the training, but we don't want everyone to become dependent on them. Right, right, right. That's good. <laughs> you can tell with her, um, she, she usually needs a little bit of, like, a cool-down time. Yeah. Because if she goes from one super exciting situation right into the next, it, that energy and excitement carries over. Right. right so she's going to be, it's going to be a lot harder for her to reset. But here's a good one. Duchess. Good. Wow. Good, Duchess. Good. Good. Very good, baby girl. Good. And that's where like, really milking the reward is good, right? Like, like not just like giving her the treat, but actually like giving her the affection, letting her know that you really appreciate that she did a good job redirecting her focus. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna do our best, especially when it, it comes to service animals, right? To really preserve the bond. Mm -hmm. um, it matters a lot because we're, we're gonna be tasking them to kind of help us out when we're in need. Right. Right. So as you're, uh, uh, ooh, you okay, baby? So as you're, as you're continuing, are you essentially repeating this over and over, putting her in different settings and yep. and repeating? Yep. Okay. Uh, we'll see as like, especially next week, since we got a lot of kind of the basics in this week. Yeah. The next week is going to be a lot more of like different environment and more self like more self control like yep yep okay there's a lot of it uh, especially with her it's just going to be composure right out out in public not just um kind of impulsively doing and going everything else um but most most dogs do but it's going to be even more important when you need her that she you know snaps to attention yes yes I know, baby. That's why, especially like right now, you know, we're kind of just giving her kind of free reign to kind of smell and, 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 and explore and, and socialize and meet people. Right. Eventually, we want to kind of try to tie it into um, her either having the best on or having the best off. Right. Um, what we've done before with some pups is, oh, sorry, <laughs> is, um, girl. Go ahead and try Duchess. <laughs> How you doing? Right. She's very excited. Duchess. Good. Very good. Good. Perfect. Good. Go. Good. 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 All right. Good. 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 Um, so, so eventually, we 
essentially hopefully mm-hmm. be able Ooh, so to, pretty uh, VJ <laughs> to tie it into whether or not she has the vest on. Uh, I've been able to kind of do that with a couple pups before. Uh, really good exercise, especially if they're into. Um, we use balls because the dog really likes to chase balls. Uh, when the vest was on, threw the ball, they couldn't go. Once we took the vest off, we threw the ball, they can go get it. Okay. Right? So You're talking about this? You're talking about the harness? Mm-hmm. Ah, okay. This is, this is just uh, the only harness I could find to fit right now. But once yeah. we actually get like the, the training harness and the patches and stuff. Okay. So you're is you're you're talking about conditioning with leash versus no leash, right? So okay. Like a little bit of both. Right? Okay. Okay. Um, but just making her almost act or behave two different ways, whether or not her uniform is on. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 Okay. Some pups get it right away. Some pups it's more difficult. Luckily, at least with her, because it's um, a lot of social practice, we'll be able to get a lot of reps in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Duchess. Oh, that, yeah, good, good. That one was easy, huh? Good, good. Good girl, right? Right, VJ? Good girl. Good girl. Mm-hmm, she's so sweet, yeah. Good. A little bit of leash work here while uh, we're kind of outside without as many distractions. Okay. And all you want to try to do is sit, kind of plan your path here, uh, whether you go up or down certain aisles, turn left or right. Mm-hmm. Um, but the main thing you want to focus on is guidance. Because the way that I have her taught right now is just responding to the leash pressure, recognizing it, and catching up. Okay. Right? Using it as a boundary. Because if you go left and she's still going right, that pressure is going to hit naturally, and then she should catch up naturally. Okay. Okay. So let's see how, how well that's working for you here. I also just have a, a bunch to help kind of ease the, uh, the impact. There. Oh, yeah. Okay. She's going like really hard, right? It should, it should start flexing even more. BJ, come this way. Good, Duchess. Good, good. Good. And then what I do in this position here is try to reward her in that heel spot. Ah, okay. Either by walking backwards or having her set up right around me again. <laughs> go. Good, good. 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 Uh, do, do you, I've been focusing on her being on my left side. Is that... Was it both, both of them? Yeah, okay, all right. Here, we're going to make a left up right up here. And I guess she already knows that. <laughs> so right now, the leash is nice and loose. She gets to smile and explore. And then as soon as it gets tight to the huge turn, that's when, or she goes too far the wrong way, that's when it's an active pressure. You have to catch up. Okay. I'm going to actually turn around here. Well, when we practice, like, um, like a warm-up drill is to purposefully go in a different direction than she's going. Yeah, yeah. But here, it's, it's kind, of, just kind of pretend like you're going to do some shopping and turn into certain aisles, start and stop, and she should start and stop with you. Right, right? okay. Duchess. Good. 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 Okay. Okay. Here, she gets a little bit of freedom. Just we really need her to get used to different environments. Mm-hmm. Get mm-hmm. Used to recalling back to us, either on that harder leash pressure or by that herbal turn. Good. Touches. 
So here, there you go. Good. 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 Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. You don't want to go in the car? No. No, we got to look at Christmas? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go back inside to the Christmas stuff. Yeah, yeah. sure. I'm yes, baby. Good, there you go. Yeah. You just keep going. All right. In the car. And that leash pressure is right in the road. Back up. Okay. A lot of times what parents end up doing is they, they stop to get the dog's attention. Yes. And that actually takes up Right. Just PJ. On what she's, uh, she's just focused on whatever smell or distraction she's got. We need her to refocus back on you, where you're going and what you're doing. So that's why guiding her. Um, Let's go inside, baby. Really helps, I suppose, to just try to get her attention. Because when you guide her, you can't really tell her what she should be doing. Okay. Right? As opposed to just telling her to stop being interested in something else. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going this way, right? Okay, we're going here. Okay, okay so, so, and what you're saying is that as I continue to walk and apply leash pressure, she will, that's conditioning her to understand that more. Yeah, okay. Because it should be free and loose when she has the time to kind of explore and be free, right? It should be tight when she needs to pay attention. Okay, okay. But on the opposite side of that, like we saw on some of our like our neighborhood walks, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If I want her to just kind of walk around and smell things, I'll stop and wait for her. It's, it's, it's a dance. Yes. You need her to go, you go, she has to follow, but you need to lead. Okay, right? okay. We can't have, have her lead the dance. Yeah. So that brings up a question, like, even something as potentially innocuous as her being in front of me. Is that a, cause I generally want her, or I've, I've been walking with her to my side as opposed to in front. Does that send the message that she is in the lead if she's in front of me or is it more the, the pressure of the leash? Right. Okay, okay. If there's no pressure and she's in front, she knows that she, she should know that she's okay. If okay. If there's pressure and she's in front, it means that she needs to focus on you and Ah, uh, very good. Okay. Duchess. Well done. Good. Good. And we'll shorten the leash up here because okay. it does help them good. Right, to realize where in space you are next to them. Okay. Right. Um, but it's it's a, like a pretty big misconception that you can't leave from behind. Ah, um, yeah. Big sled dogs. Yeah, true. True. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. As so long as you're in control and you're showing her where to go and what to do, she might have to backtrack, right? To catch up to you, but if she's in front of you and you can left on the right turn, close to the watch her to see what she does. Right. And then you, when she refocuses, you just praise her and you're like, right. a little way forward or keep you far and then you see like the stereotypical U turn or a stop. Yep, I'll do a U turn here. Yep. And then just watch her. Good. Right? Good, good. And that's all. It's just shifting more of the responsibility off of our shoulders to make sure that she's good. doing what we want. Yeah. And it's putting the responsibility on her shoulders to pay attention and the problem. Ooh. Yeah, okay, okay. Great. And the important thing for that transition is to make her feel acknowledged, right? When she does, like, start going the wrong way and you start going this way, you just watch her. And as soon as she kind of pays attention and she figures out she's doing the wrong thing, you're like, yes, good girl. Right, right. Ooh. So here's this one. Oh, look at that. Duchess. Very good. Very good. Uh, very good. Very good. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, very good. Very good. Yeah. And in this situation, we almost start looking for distractions to practice yeah. with her in the work group. Right. Right. All right. So if she starts pulling you to the front, go ahead and just stop and pretend like you're going to be shopping for some laundry. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I know, baby. Okay. Right? She's looking for something to do and what to focus on, right? Mm -hmm. she's, she's like just looking for that guidance. So when she's like looking around for it, that's when you can be like, okay, hey, I'm going to be coming over here. Why don't you stand here and sit, wait for me while I check this out, right? Because she's, she's right now trying to find something to do. Yeah. Yeah. Before, she was just following her nose, right? Causing that pulling. Right. Right? Because that's what's giving her something to do. So now we take over that responsibility and say, maybe you have to stop and check out some charcoal. <laughs> You're like, hey, Duchess, wait. Okay, let's go. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's, it's more natural that way. Yeah. But you just have to also remember if, if you're not giving her something to do because of her age and everything else and her excitement, she's going to just be looking for something to do. Right. So that's right. part of why you constantly giving her guidance is what helps you to like keep her from just pulling all over the place. Right. Because she's focused on you. She's not focused on the scent or the smells that she's trying to follow. Right. Thank you, VJ. <laughs> Thank you, baby girl. <laughs> Here. Thank you, VJ. Duchess. Good, 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 good. Thank you, VJ. Good. Now, if you want, I'll hold her for a second. Okay. If you want to unscrew this part here, or actually, you can just unclip this part from that, and we're going to clip it directly to the, uh, the bun. So we're gonna cut out the blue part in the middle. Okay. Oh, it's super short so with the leash. Oh, right here. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. Okay. There you go. Another key. Oh, I see. All right. Another key. Another key? Yeah. You want this one? Yes. Okay. So you have both rings? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now, same thing, right? But now. It's gonna have much less leeway. BJ, this way, baby. Good. Yeah. But if you want her in that field, Duchess. you want her to stay, you have to guide her into it. Okay. Good. 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 And for me and her, it's right now as easy as just kind of. Acknowledging her being beside me, uh -huh. giving her some treats every few steps. Okay. And just keep them up with me. Here, Duchess? Good. Now, Good. have a treat ready and then just keep going for a couple steps and then give her a treat. Okay. And then turn, have her keep up with you and then give her a treat. So okay. You treat her for the distance that she's traveled focusing on you. Okay. As opposed to refocusing all the time. It'll take a little bit of getting used. Duchess. Good. Duchess. Good. Good. Okay, keep walking a little bit. There you go. Good. Now get her Good. It's a little bit harder here in this environment because it's more new smells and distractions. Right? Yeah, yeah. She and I have been walking in, in the neighborhood a lot practicing the initial. Right. But this little part will get better too as she gets more experience out in different Duchess. Good. Duchess. Good. Very good. Now walk with her for a little bit. And then when she checks in again. Good, good. Go. Good. Go. good. Go. good. Kind of see what I mean? Yes, now? yeah, yeah. I it's, see that. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you both kind of start clicking in on that, yeah. it makes it a lot easier. Yeah. Good, good, good. BJ, this way. <laughs> Duchess? Very good. Now, if you can start and stop with your shopping. That's a big one because usually, you know, if you ever see service animals and handlers in, in public, they just naturally start and stop when the handler does and mm -hmm. just kind of settle in with her you know she still wants to explore and everything so you have to prompt it right you know? but you want to get to the point where you just naturally do it and then she does it all right so the next time you want to stop get her attention let her know duchess 
Good. And then do some shopping. Then give her a reward and then let her know that you're going to go. Good. Good. And then let her know when you're moving again. Okay. Let's go. Do that a couple more times and then we'll try Okay. Look at that. Look at that. Duchess. Good. 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 Okay, let's go. Duchess. Duchess. <laughs> Duchess. Good. 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 Duchess. Good. Good, good. Okay, let's go. PJ, go down this way, baby. Duchess? Duchess? Good, good. Good, good. Okay, okay. Now this time when you do it, maybe at the end of the aisle, just stop and um, hold your hand up as if you're, you're asking her to do it, so stay in front. But we want her to, to focus um, on you and what you're doing. And so we just need her to get, we just need to get her attention. Okay. And we, and we want to try to eliminate commands. Uncle Toy Daddy. I know, baby. Uncle Toy Daddy. Okay. 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 Almost. So when you get her to focus on you. Oh, sure. I don't want to have to make all the good Come, baby. Yeah. We're going to leave soon, okay? Good girl. Good girl. And so now when you have her attention, you can ask the person if, you know, she can say hi and she can engage. And she's waiting for your command now to initiate. Right. As opposed to just seeing somebody and then popping towards them. Right. Okay, baby. She's getting tired. Yeah. Good girl. Yes, good. So it's nice and loose. She sees them, but she's not going. Good girl. Very good. Good, good, good. So some some of it is is <laughs> some of it's starting to sink in. It is, yeah, I can see it. It's hard because, she, like I said, she's she's really she's really friendly. She's very really excited. Yep. We don't want to go overboard. Okay, baby. Yeah. So I think it's time for us to go. Yeah. No problem. Yep. Oh. <laughs> I'll let you say goodbye. Okay.
thank you for joining us. And yeah, this was great. We could at least do a little bit together. Yeah. So that's what we're going to be kind of mostly focusing PJ, on next week. Come say goodbye to Duchess. <laughs> yeah, we'll head out with you. Okay. <laughs> I'll probably put the extension back on. Okay, here, I'll, let me hold, hold it. Oh, good girl. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. That's Vijay's iPad, right? Take this off and put those two together. Okay, I'll do that. All righty. I'll, I'll take those. Yeah. That's the girl. Let's go, Daddy. Okay, baby. Oh, and then this guy I gotta give to you too. And the uh, signaler as well. I've got that in my pocket. Yeah. Thank you. I never, I never had to use that. That was good. Would you like the mic now as well? Oh, sure. Oh, uh, do you guys have? Oh, Duchess. Duchess. <laughs> BJ, BJ, come this way. Good girl, thank good, you. Good, good. Good girl. Sorry. Mm -hmm. It's a work in progress. Yeah. Good <laughs> girl. Oh, oh thank you, baby. Do you and your wife have any questions on anything on, on the video so far? I can for you while you have the mic on. Right. Um, no, I don't have any questions right now. Okay. Um, we, we got a bit more. We're going to do some more watching tonight. And then, BJ, hold my hand, please, across the street. And then we will send you questions uh, tonight okay, cool. and, and tomorrow.